Dear Capricorn, welcome back to Saturated in Love, VIP Tarot, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. I'm here for another weekly message for you, in particularly regarding the full moon in Aries this Sunday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be going live. My first time going live, my sun sign is in Aries, so I figured I'd take this opportunity to use the full moon in Aries to deliver some messages for you all. I'm definitely um, not planning on doing a reading. We'll see how it goes, but I hope to have a few people in my room who can ask a question, and I'll go ahead and pull a tarot card for you all. Oh, dear Capricorn, thanks for joining. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for using me as a vessel. If you're new here, please click subscribe so you don't miss a video. VIPs, I appreciate the love always. Who are we in the collective? We are wise. We're hip to game, dear Capricorn. What helps or hinders this notion? Our hearts are full, fire, expression. You have been passionately loving yourself and another, loving yourself or another. <laughs> you've been passionate, dear Capricorn, and so you've been also wise in your approach to love, okay? You've learned from your past mistakes, you've learned from people who have betrayed you in the past. You know what to look for. You know all the red flags. Oh dear Capricorn, your heart is full again. Unconscious factors at play here. A lot of you dealing with past life relationships, soulmates from past lives, if you believe such. The earth here is showing you that you're going through cycles, okay? You're, you're wise, like I mentioned, your heart is full, and you're completing your karmic destiny upon this earth. As above, so below, the eight is the infinite symbol here, working hard towards love and your dreams and goals. Near pa recent past, mother birth, you've had to endure some painful times to get to where you are now, but you are in a garden full of roses right now. Things are coming to pass, especially in relationships. They're growing solid. For those of you who are single, these energies are here with the full moon in Aries for you to tap into, okay? A solid foundation can be had. Your heart is full again, so this will help attract love into your life. What looms above you? What's the goal here? Sacred fire to maintain your wisdom, to evolve spiritually. A lot of Capricorns are on a spiritual evolution, a journey of evolution. Congratulations. Near future. Fear. Lover's tarot for clarification. Near future. What might ruffle Capricorn's feathers? What are you afraid of, dear Capricorn? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What might Scare our dear Capricorns away in the near future. The moon, a secret. Wow. So this full moon can reveal a secret to you. My goodness. Look how you drew the moon card. And this is about the full moon in Aries. On the 13th, dear Capricorn, the moon is clarifying fear here. So what is going to be revealed to you this Sunday and Monday in particularly, something will be revealed to you. It could be a personal um like a light bulb that just goes off in your head. This reading could help somebody, you know, discover something about themselves that they may not have been paying attention to, dear Capricorn. Okay, so the moon will come to reveal something that might have you shooken up. Let's get more. How you view yourself. The wheel of fortune. So you're sensing lucky energies surrounding you at present. I'd be interested to know what the moon reveals for you, dear Capricorn. <laughs> Only time will tell how others view you. The hanged man. Others are in suspension over you. They're not sure about what your trajectory is, but you are. I guess you've kind of 
basically just been nurturing self again you're wise you're hip to game i don't think you're letting just anyone in although your heart is full you have this love for yourself where you will not allow yourself to be with anybody who's not worthy of your time love affection and attention dear capricorn i think that others are kind of not sure what happened to you as you used to be readily available <laughs> Oh, but now you view yourself as lucky enough to have built this much confidence in yourself. And you know that not everyone deserves you, dear Capricorn. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. So, you guys, I started using the mythical goddess tarot for your Celtic spread. And then I went into the lover's tarot just because I wanted to clarify fear here. So I'm going to go ahead and put how you view yourself next to the wheel. Pessimism. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, I'm loving this. Okay, dear Capricorn, check it out. Near future was fear, clarified by the moon. And so again, the moon this weekend is going to reveal something to you. Okay, please join my chat if you can, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have any questions, an answer will be revealed for you. Then we have how you view yourself, pessimism, but then clarified by hanged man. Wow. Please excuse me. You are wise. Your heart is full as what helps Unconscious factors dealing with a soulmate or past life love. Recent past mother birth. Birthing something beautiful through a painful period. What looms above you, sacred fire. The moon will come to reveal something that might leave you fearful. How you view yourself pessimistically because you're unsure that love is around the corner for you. Okay, and so you see here, you are hung up over that. Whatever is on your mind that you're unsure of, whatever the moon might reveal to you this Sunday that will have you leaving stuck, this is why you're pessimistic. Look how they match. Pessimism and the hanged man. Perfect clarifier for pessimism. And then fear sprung about by the secret that the moon shall reveal perfect clarifier. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being here. How others view you, dear Capricorn. We had the wheel of fortune, didn't we? I'm going to leave it like this because this is how Holy Spirit says the message should go. And we have the wheel of fortune at some point between the revolution, the revelation rather, between the revelation that the new, the full moon in Aries will bring to you this Sunday, dear Capricorn, and your pessimistic feelings regarding a situation or yourself, you have the wheel of fortune present, okay? So things, your luck will turn for the better with this full moon in Aries. Your hope or your fear, purity. How others view you, purity. How others view you, purely. Okay, your hope or your fear. Mother perception, to be able to carry on being the wise woman, the wise man, to know yourself, to know your situations, to know the partners that you're involved with. Final outcome, dear Capricorn, child design. Child design, more earth. Oh, dear Capricorn, this is you. After a painful period, you're birthing something new. Could be dealing with a past life love again. And then your final outcome is child design. So you're going to feel new, youthful energies, this full moon in Aries, new and vibrant. Oh, dear Capricorn, let's pull a queen of the moon oracle for your past. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for delivering this message on behalf of dear Capricorn. Your past. past for dear Capricorn. If you're new, please click subscribe so you don't miss a video. Past for dear Capricorn. The masculine. In the past, you've had to work hard, so hard. The masculine. Everything was about all the effort you could put forth into changing your situation. The masculine. At present, dear Capricorn, romance angels, 
please reveal the present for dear Capricorn. At present, dear Capricorn, heart-to-heart -heart conversations are happening. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, dear Capricorn. At present, heart-to-heart -heart conversations are happening. If this resonates wonderful, do remember it's a general reading. Feel free to look up your moon rising and Venus videos as well. <laughs> and in future, dear Capricorn, using Monology Oracle. Post full moon in Aries. Again, I'm going live for the very first time. Hope to see you there. I'm pulling cards for you guys if you have questions. Future for dear Capricorn, luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius, luck is on your side. Oh dear Capricorn. And so with the full moon in Aries this weekend, do not fret all the hard work you've had to do, you being the masculine. You're able now to let that go, let the past go and tap into your divine feminine energies. At present, you're having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with yourselves, getting to know yourself better, becoming still the wiser. Okay. Luck is on your side with this full moon in Aries. Again, if you have questions, please meet me in the live chat, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, United States. See you on Sunday the 13th. Peace.